guys, it is Mary. We want you guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below because today we are going to be answering a question that I've been seeing a lot in the comments section. Mm -hmm. As many of you guys know, we are actually currently living, well, staying here in Tanzania for yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think we got here maybe like a month, almost two months now. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of you guys have been wondering why we came to Tanzania, yeah. what's going on. Yeah. So, we're going to get right into it. Yeah, but it awesome. is Mary. And Amma. And we invite you guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Yeah, so, um, some of you who know who have been on my YouTube channel that I had a while back, but I haven't been on it for a few months anyway. Um, we both have individual channels separate from Mary and Amma. Right. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to be doing some things on that channel. But those who have been there know that I haven't been well. I actually haven't been well for the past, for a while, for a while. Um, started having some issues December 2017. Um, and my health has just declined. And, um you know i just wanted to get better i didn't want to i'm on quite a bit of medications and i just wanted to heal and i knew that um there wasn't really anything much more that i can do than just take my meds or something and i just wanted to do something for myself and and try other things to see if they will work um, I'm not going to go into details about all my medical things, um, but that was really the main reason. I was trying to find a place where the sun was shining, like year round, yeah. because during the winter, uh, it's very hard for me, um, and you know, anyone who's dealing with, you know, um, arthritis or you know different forms of arthritis know that as it gets colder you know it just hurts more um, I've never liked the winter and um, I always really get very ill during that time it's like anything that's going on I, I catch so um, I did want to just get to a place that had a lot of sunshine. I thought about going to Florida. I looked at going to Florida. I looked at going to um, Arizona, California, uh, Georgia. So just some of those places that have sunshine year round. And Africa was really never on my radar, even though, you know, as you know, we've said so many times on this channel, yeah. I am, you know, I am from Sierra Leone. Yes. And I was born in Ghana. My mom is from Ghana. My father is from Sierra Leone. I was born in America. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, but Africa was never on my radar to go back home. It was never on my radar to do that. I always said I wasn't going to do that. Um, and then I thought about but it was it was expensive i was looking for a place where you know will not be you know that i can live and i can be comfortable you know and but now you know in america rent is rent is expensive you know yeah so during this period i wanted to take maybe like a year or so um at least let me say at least three months to a year but up to a year um away from because right now we live in maryland so i wanted to kind of just go away from what well, we used to live in maryland <laughs> we used to live in maryland right so i wanted to just go away from maryland um, because maryland is very expensive we've been there now for over a decade i yeah. love maryland you know it's a wonderful place to grow children and stuff raise your family but it is expensive it's one of the most expensive states yeah so, very expensive um yeah, so anyhow, I looked at places in America, and you really cannot find anything, you know, in terms of rent that's like less than $1,000. And then I thought about Portugal. I was following a YouTuber. Um, journey with us? Our Rich Journey. Yeah. And no, Journey with us is in, there in Tanzania. But okay. Our Rich Journey, these YouTubers, they had relocated their family to Portugal. So I thought about Portugal. 
um, and they have a good healthcare system too. But, um, and then, you know, while I was looking on YouTube, then I started to see a lot of YouTubers who were moving back to Africa, like not even moving back, African Americans were just moving. Yeah. And not just African Americans, there were Americans, white Americans were also relocating to Africa. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh wow, you know, and these are people who some of them have never left the States before. So then I started to think about Africa. I was like, oh, okay, if they can do it, I can go back and stuff. But, um, but you I haven't thought about, about it for like, what, two years? Yeah. yeah I was I not have, on board. Yeah, I, I have been thinking about it for two years. Um, I really have been planning for the past two years. Like just trying to figure out what will be a best place for me as my health continues to decline. I yeah. mean, of course, you guys don't, you know, you guys see us on YouTube and stuff like that. The truth of the matter, sometimes we have to stop the tape. Yeah. Sometimes you'll see us say we have to stop because I'm having some kind of symptom or something. And even when we stop our YouTube, I have to, you know, and I mean, I have my, my cane right here with me. <laughs> you know, it's like even when we stop and I say goodbye, you guys will see me, but I'm like, struggling just to get up to limp to go and lay down for a little while and then come back on and get on youtube yeah it's not easy so like he's gone through a lot yeah so it's not you know you see the bubbly person and stuff like that but it is something um that's going on with me and but i think later on hmm? no go ahead. no but even with the youtube like when we first started it like we did it for memories because yeah. we didn't know how long she was going to be here. But yeah. you say, you Absolutely. know, at, if, you know, if anything ever happened to me, yeah. you know, Miriam, you have these videos of, you yeah. know, us having a good time, us yeah. having these memories and, and me giving like you advice. advice. Yeah, because you, know? you have been asking me for the longest time to do YouTube with you. And, yeah, and, I was like, it would be or, great or to for do a us. podcast and... Because I just thought we were so funny. At the same, I was like, yeah. we were like oh, the funniest people. I'm right. sure people will love to know our opinions and stuff. Yeah. And it'll be great for memories. And but, but not only that, you kept on saying that, Mom, I wish you could talk to young women. Yes, absolutely. And give them the advice that you've given me that has helped me in my life. Yeah. You know, so... Um, and you've been asking me for years. Yeah, I and said, so, you know, I, I always used to say, you yeah. know, if the women, like just women in general, just heard all the advice that you give me, like yeah. the world would be like such, will be a much better place for oh, women. Right. You know, I just thought you had like so much wisdom. You had so much to give to young yeah. women because yeah. you've changed my life. Like, it's like a 360. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, but, yeah. yeah, so, you know, she had asked me for years, but then I think, I think like in 20, last year, I started yeah. to feel a little better. I had done a water fast for 21 days and I started to feel so much better. Like I started to feel a little hope Yeah. again and I was like, okay, we can, I guess we can start doing this now. Yeah. And I'm actually so happy because it's what, it's the few times in the days that I'm laughing or just having a good time. Yeah. That I don't really get to think about whatever is going on. Um, and sometimes it's a challenge because just before we came on to do this, I had yeah. limped my way to the bed. Yeah. Cause you like, I got laid and down. I was my legs are going down. And I was yeah. shaking. And then yeah. you're like, can we just do two more videos? And, you know, and I, I didn't like, force her. I gave her options. Yeah. And I was like, you know, she really looked like she wanted me to do that. So I was like, okay, fine, you know, and then that's it. But so those are the, you know, background struggles that yeah. are going on. And I'm sure later on, hopefully I get better and I'm able to really tell you guys all the things that I'm going through. But I don't want to do that on this channel. But that's not what this channel is about. I, mean, I do have another channel. That I'm which gonna, we'll link below. Which I'm going to start again. Yeah. Um, probably next week. Because I've been away from that for a while. Yeah, you know, for, a, for a grip. For a while. Because sometimes it's, as I, you know, sometimes I'm feeling really bad or something like that. It's been hard. It's been a challenge. But, you know, having, you know, Mariam here, she helps, you know, to push me. And like I said, it's a lot of fun. So... Going back to choosing a place, we thought about Portugal, I thought about Mexico, going there, but then, so I think a few people died, so 
somewhere around there. So there was a like, lot of people dying in the Dominican killed, Republic. So I was like, oh, oh like, no, no, I can't go there. And then Portugal became more expensive because a lot of Californians were moving there. And then like there was bidding a, for, a riot for or whatever. places. And, yeah. and then the Portuguese, now they're like, you know, you all leave out a country. So I was like, well, can't go there. But then I started to think down about Africa. And um, I could have gone to Sierra Leone. I could have gone to Ghana. That's true. But I was just thinking about the foods. Like, I love West African food. I love, and I can just... Ain't nothing like it, honestly. It's it's not going to help my health. It's not. I want to go visit, though. I want to specifically for the food. It's not going to help my health. It really is not going to help my health at this time. I have to be, eat more cleanly, um, because I'm I'm trying to use some other non-conventional ways to get better. Right. Because, you know, um, so that's, that's what's going on. So I said, well, okay... I can't go to West Africa, even though it will be nice. It will be easier because I'll be around family. Um, and then I saw a lot of um, African Americans, young African Americans, had gone to Rwanda, Tanzania. I was think of Rwanda at first. Um, so, but then I thought, well, you know, the young people are going to Tanzania. Yeah. You know, so, and I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe one of the kids will want to come with me. At the time, they're like, no. Eh, I, I was know. like, I'm no, I, there. because the thing is, you have this misconception <laughs> about Africa. I'm right. like, man, do they even have soda there? Like, how am I going to yeah. get internet? Like, because they have programs that people here live in huts and trees. Yeah. You well, know? you guys knew we all live in huts and trees. Well, I knew, but, but then I, I haven't like, seen it, know, though. Like, like, I don't really know what's here. Like, you. Yeah. You like you'll probably know something, but you really don't trust it until yeah. you see it for yourself. Yeah. So I kept on saying no. Yeah. But then when she was talking to me about the currency, how you yeah. can start businesses really cheap over there. Yeah. And I mean, we really saw, and you know, shout out to a lot of the YouTubers yeah. on journey with us, T three and me, Mark Meets Africa, Mark Meets Africa, Diasporian in Tanzania. Um, Jewels on the Run. Jewels on the Run. Go yeah. back to Africa. What's the other traveling sister? Right? Yeah. I hope I've called everybody. If I missed you, then sorry. Oh, besties with babies. Besties right? with babies, yes. So we were watching all these people who were in Tanzania. These guys are like in their in their 30s or in their 20s. Like I think Mark, Mark was Sasha. the youngest. He was like he 18. Well, no, there was another one. Tiffany... Yeah, Tiffany somebody, but she was 18. But yeah, so they're coming. And, and then there are another couple, I, I can't remember their YouTube channel, but they were like 18 and they came. So I said, well, what's going on in Tanzania? And there, there was actually someone else that I had been watching for the past five years. He, he's not African American, he's actually um, from, he's Caucasian, he's from, I think, Germany. Um, John St. Julian, Baba Wanayama or something. Anyhow, he um, built this um, this center for children with disability, and I, you know, will send money to different, you know, places for you know charity and stuff. But he built this center called Feather's Tail, I think, at the base of near Kilimanjaro area. Yeah. Um, so I have been watching him for the past I th- over five years. So I had I knew about Tanzania that he was there, and because I had given to that charity, it was something that I said, oh, I will one day in my lifetime love to actually go and see, because he had talked about how God had kind of how God had directed him to go there and and do this. So um, so yeah, so that kind of you know. That's why I kind of moved from Rwanda to Tanzania. Because first of all, it was going to be Rwanda, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, because it seemed to me, from what I was seeing, it seemed more organized and stuff like that. A lot of older people who have retired moved to, Tan- to Rwanda and stuff. But then I said, you know, something just kept on coming, Tanzania, Tanzania. And... Um, and then just the way things worked out, um, you know, maybe one day I'll talk about it, but God really helped us um, just moving here, you know. Yeah. So I just told my daughter, I said, well, let's go, let's go, you know, for maybe up to three months um, and just see if we like it and see yeah. if I get better 
a little bit yeah come back see my doctor and stuff and i spoke to my doctor and, and she was very supportive about me going and you know and exactly what i was going to try to do because i you know the medicines can all only do so much they're just going to suppress my symptoms yeah but in order to totally heal it, it has to be not just physical for me i think it's spiritual it's mental it's emotional it's all of those things that yeah. need healing you know yeah that's the beautiful call to prayer yeah but um me, so yeah so that's what happened go ahead honey yeah so basically once she had done like her research and everything stuff like that and she had been trying to convince me i we finally decided to go it mm -hmm. was a video that go black had that kind of sold us he was interviewing mark meets africa, africa and, and they were talking about the cost about of the living budget here. exactly yeah and it was so great it was really great and then he was also talking about that business. budget does not apply now and yeah we will have a budget video <laughs> about that later to really say what's going on especially with the inflation and stuff yeah. like that that's going on um, things are the things are more expensive for sure than mosquitoes. Um, yeah. But yeah. So you know. So that's really why we're here. I'm just on this healing journey. Yeah. She is going to be here looking for a business opportunities. Yeah. Still doing your designing and painting and stuff. Yeah. Because what really sold me about Africa when she was talking about it was really the currency difference as well. Yeah. Because I felt like there was a lot of things that I wanted to do and accomplish mm -hmm. here that I couldn't like really immediately start doing, mm -hmm. but I could do it a lot sooner here. Yeah. Because I am a fashion designer. I went to school for fashion designing at SCAD and mm -hmm. then I also minored in painting. Yeah. So I do fashion designing, painting graphic design and um i do drawings and stuff like that yeah. and photography so i was like you know what let me come here and maybe start some business ventures and maybe start doing some things that i really want to accomplish here so i yeah. was like you know maybe the africa would be the place for us yeah. so i think that's what really motivated us to come yeah along with her healing which was number yeah. one for yeah, sure that's definitely it still number is. one and yeah. um so yeah so we're just here just kind of checking things out see if this is something we want to do long term yeah. or do you know am i going to run myself back to the state to be like you know something let us uh be right here for a minute you know? yeah so you know so that's what's going on right now it's just kind of exploratory right now yeah and it's just it's so much it's not so much that i can do my stuff is really at home yeah. But I am enjoying it. I am really enjoying it when I get up and listen to the call to prayer. I love the fact that it's warm even when it rains. Yeah. Even when it's windy, it's still warm. Uh, we're in a beautiful home. You know, just yeah. kind of the landscape. It's just that housework video is still coming up y'all don't worry it's, we're gonna try to get it done this week or yeah. next week. <laughs> Having the fruits, like just the abundance of fruits to to eat I mean it's just it's been such a blessing sometimes I, I lay down when I wake up and I just look out my window and I'm just like I can't believe We're in because Africa. I mean anyone who knows me I don't get up and just go like that <laughs> like I yeah. stick to a place I'm not really a traveler everybody else in my family is a traveler I'm not I don't like to travel you know I traveled a lot when I was a child and I and I think because of that, I'm, a, I'm like averse to it. Yeah. So this has been a shock for anyone who knows me. That, what? And oh God, just traveling. When I travel, I think I was like, I was really big, like also. So I, I maybe I'll do a video yeah on traveling over 450 pounds yes we were supposed <laughs> to do a video of traveling from america I'm sure to some Tanzania. people will not travel if they weigh that much but yeah yeah so you know um but i i am going to document the, my healing journey i will be documenting that on my other channel that yeah. she'll link below and i'll start that next week yes and I'll and also link down below my channel for anybody who is interested about DIYs, fashion, photography, art, and also some of my travels in Tanzania. I did a Mbudia Island trip here in Tanzania, yeah. so we'll I know, link them down below. I just that I couldn't, when we first got here, I really couldn't do much at all. Yeah. I still can't do much, actually, but it's... I but you got to, you're like, oh, like, definitely a lot better than you were yeah, in the States. I do. I have my good days and I have my really bad days. 
and yeah. um, sometimes I get frustrated because like two days ago I was like ooh I'm getting better and then today was a bad it was not very good yeah like, um, my movements were very difficult and stuff like that so um, you know it's just being patient and that's about it yeah but we're getting yeah. bit, bit by mosquitoes so I think <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys learned a little bit more about us and our yeah. journey so for those who um, I asked hope I, for it, yeah, I hope, I hope this I was, answered, yeah. yeah, we hope we, we answered your questions. Yeah. And if you guys want to know anything more yeah. about us and Tanzania. And if we decide to stay or if we decide to go somewhere else, we'll let you guys know. Yes. So if you guys want to keep abreast about anything or want to know anything else, please comment down below. Our house tour video is coming up. I want to do a premiere about it. So y'all stay tuned for that later on this week. Yeah. Well, probably around midweek next week. I'll probably try to launch it that weekend or whatever. Yeah. But yes, you guys, please like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Please subscribe, you guys, to try to keep this channel up and going and running. We're trying to hit a specific goal, so y'all please help us do that. Yeah. But we love you guys. Thank you for your support, yeah. and y'all have a wonderful night. I know. This was a little hard for me. But yeah. It's hard to open up about stuff like this, but yeah. I hope that, you know, you guys understand and, yeah. you know. Hope I gave you a, a little, like, at least a picture of, you know, the reasons why. Yeah. We gotta go. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>